Hello you guys and welcome back to Danny Cosworks. Today we'll be making these cute clutch slash wallet slash candy holders. These are super easy to make and you can customize them. These particular ones we're going to make is going to be for a birthday. Um, we're going to put Velcro fasteners on them so you can be able to open and close them and attach the candy on the inside. So please stay tuned if you'd like to see how we make these. So to get started, we're going to first go to images and we're going to type in purse and into design space. Um, I wanted to create a project that is totally using design space only. Um, a lot of people feel like that once they get design space, then it's just a platform, but they still have to use other outlets like Etsy and all those things to buy templates when design space has so many things that you can make and design, you know, so please use design space. So these are all the images of the purses that, I mean, it's 129 images. But the first one that caught my eye is this one. So we're going to click it and go to insert images. And while that image is loading, um, I wanted you to see that I have my images that I'm going to use for my design that I'm making. This is for uh, order for a little girl's birthday. Um, I'm super excited to make these. Um, but these are all my images and this particular one is going to be my background. So to get started, this image here, it is an image that is already attached and it has a score in it, which is this, and it has cut and print. We don't want that because we don't want this design. We want to make our own. So to do that, we're going to click the image and we're going to click detach. We're going to remove that score line so that it leaves us with just an image like this. Um, so we're going to take our background that we're going to use. And yes, I'm going to leave it small because sometimes smaller images are easier to work with because you have more space on the whole canvas. So I am going to leave it small and I'm going to change the size towards the end when I'm designing it. So we're going to place this and make sure we send the image to the front. We're going to place it to where it's just underneath the top part. We're going to unlock it and we're going to drag it down to where it's underneath the yellow part because these two parts I want to change the color to as well so now that we have that done we're going to select both of the images and we're going to click slice so now our slice image look like this and I'll make it big in a minute you guys bear with me and the other section is like this so we can now get rid of that and now let's make things big so you guys can kind of see what we're working with. So we're going to do that by unlocking it and making it big. So this part, the part that's going to be um, like the clutch closing part, we're going to click it and we're going to go to print. Make it a print image and we're going to go to um, pattern and I'm going to change the pattern to like something with hearts maybe to match the outside of our clutch. So yeah, you're just literally going to scroll down and I found some hearts here. So this is going to now once it's finished loading, it's going to make all this hearts. So now we're going to attach those two together. 
and you see why I was like, sometimes it's easier to leave the images um, small because sometimes when they're small, they're easier to work with because we have to align these to fit right at the top of the clutch but it has to be perfect so to do that we need to unlock it and adjust the length and once we have the length adjusted we can pretty much now make this a little bit wider and line up everything as so um, make sure that we got the top one make sure that the bottom one and we want them to let me zoom out so you guys can see how it's together now the top and the bottom we can even move this over just a little bit more because we want them to be identical at the top you see this part here we want them to be so now that we have the image how we want it, we're going to highlight them and we're going to click attach. And after we click attach, we're going to click flatten. Flatten is very important because it tells the machine that this whole image is going to be cut on the outline. So always attach it and click flatten. So now we're going to upload our images that we found in, the, in designing them. And I'm going to show you how we can design this um, and make it more custom. So we're going to click our images, send to the front. All these um, little clip arts I found on Google and I cleaned them up. Um, you can use other platforms like Etsy. You can use, um, you know, any platform that you like to find your images. Um, I just happen to be a Google girl because I'm not trying to pay for things. So once we have it kind of like we want it, I'll show you what we're going to do to the end. So you guys get to see me creating things. Okay. So another important step is this part. This part will be the back of your clutch. So all the images that you're going to put on this part. So this is the front. This is the back. All these images has to be upside down. <laughs> so make sure that they all are upside down like so. And then you're going to select everything. Once your design is complete to your liking, you know, you're going to select everything. You're going to click attach. And flatten and we're almost done you guys ignore the little arrow message we'll deal with that guy later we're going to go to shapes and we're going to select score line and this score line we're going to make sure is in the front and we're going to make it to where it's in the middle of the design because it's going to tell your machine that you're you're going to be scoring this part make it kind of easy to fold but even though the score line is optional but it's just to 
you know, because everyone might not have a score to. But the score line is optional, and that's why I chose this project because when it cut out, this and this leaves no, you know, leaves it no room for you not to be able to fold. You're going to have to fold this project. So we're going to select it all and attach so it'll attach our score line. So now we're going to deal with this little fellow here. It says image too large, reduce size to 6.75 by 9.25. So we're going to do just that. And I'm going to click make it and I'm going to show you guys how it will appear on your mat. You're going to be printing it first, scoring it, and then cutting it. So that was one option. Um, another option that you have to make this is to take the whole image that you just did, you're going to detach everything and you're going to unflatten. Um, so now that the image looks like it did in the beginning before we flatten and attach everything. So another option is we have the option to make two sided. Um, so we'll take this image and we'll duplicate it and when we put it in our printer we'll you know print it two sides and just have a pattern or you can have um, this on the outside you can have lol just on the outside I'm just trying to show you guys that you can make these um, customizable to your liking um, it's a really great party favor so um, once we go to make it and we print these and we cut them I'll meet you guys back once I got it off my mat and we'll assemble them together So, to assemble these, um, it's really simple, but first let me show you how it looks like. Um, you have option one, where you have your design just on the front, nothing on the back, and it's still foldable, and they end up being little um, purses, clutches, candy holders, whatever you want to call them. That's style one. Um, then you have style two. You can just have like your designs, no um, images or anything, just your design on the front and on the back. You can also use colored cardstock and just cut it out. Um, this is the Kit Kat wrapper. We're going to be using Kit Kats. The Kit Kat is in the same thing as the Party Favor. And we're going to be using these um, fasteners. This is a set of 20. I got these from Dollar Tree. And of course, they was a dollar. Um, and also, this is how it looked in the end. That's the back. And it just snaps. It's a really strong hole. You hear? And... On the inside, it'll have your Kit Kat, and it'll say thank you, or you can put anything that you want to put on it, but it's a really simple project, so um, stay tuned for a video showing you how to wrap the Kit Kats. It's, it's really simple. Um, so we're going to open our fasteners. 
I know I should not use my weeder. I use it for everything. And let me show you how it comes. So it comes like this. Basically, for one project, you're going to use this and this, the first row, left to right. Okay? So you're going to take it. You're going to identify the areas you want to put it. And you're going to... It's adhesive on the back and there it's really strong um coming from the dollar tree this is actually a really good project um product because it holds really good and you're just going to snap it like so and open it it's really good again if you want to see how i make these um, Kit Kats, please stay tuned. I'll show you how I wrap these. It's a really cool project. Um, thank you so much. Um, you'll do the same thing on this one as well. You'll just put your little fastener like this. But yes, you guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. And that's the same thing. That's the back. Remember when we flipped our image? That's how it looked when you flip it. That's the front. And that's how we close it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys.